Hello, viewers. My name is Adam. And I'm here. This is the Me a production. Bring you another trailer bay. So, we are big fans of the Hunger Games series, and now we get to see where it all began. Well, one of the earlier stories said in the universe. That's true. Um, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is the story of Pretty the future mm -hmm. Pan Am president Cornelius Snow. Exactly. It's his, it's his, it's his, swans, it's his story, his origins of how he became the tyrannical dictator he is. Uh, he was during Katniss's time, and this is his humble beginnings. Now, after the the previous Hunger Games um, series of films were released, the young adult genre actually kind of like fall to the wayside as far as theoretical releases go. This is so true. Um, instead, um, after that period, they actually started adapting the young adult fantasy stories into TV shows. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about like the Shannara Chronicles, yep. um, Shadow and Bone. That's a good one. But either way, it in, it, only with those particular um, series, it was just a sprinkles here and there. It wasn't nearly as great as it was, or as big as they uh, originally had become. You know, when the Hunger Games was out, and then you had also uh, was it the Divergent series? But that that, that <laughs> failed exactly. <laughs> that <can't>. went, <laughs> completely crashed and burned. Only really the Hunger Games really got uh, stood the test of time. And let's hope that they still got some. You know. Or, some gas in the tank in order to continue to keep the, um, the ball moving. Especially since uh, 2023's holiday season is pretty stacked. Oh, um, there is so much uh, competition out there. Yeah, it's one for Disney, the one where they're all coming after it. So, yeah, exactly. is there a space for another young adult fantasy series in the theatrical realm? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh, Dean Casca High Bottom. Uh, <laughs> I have summoned you all here for the 10th Annual Reaping Ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From District 12, Lucy Green Bear. There has been a change this year. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. What did my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. You really want to take care of me in that way? Start by thinking. Why does this feel a little more bigger <laughs> for the previous bills? I'm Lucky Flickerman, first ever host of the Hunger Games. Enjoy the show. Bye. What happens in there? Dreams with the terror becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? See how quickly civilization disappears? Goodness built into us all. We can step across that line. Look at this. Look at this. No. You hear that, boy? It's the sound of snow falling. Why don't the lenses use it for some type of It's not just about winning. The monsters! All of them! I didn't know he was in this. Oh! It's the things we love most. This in particular district. Uh -huh. particularly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I. You know what? Uh, okay. You know, in a lot of ways, like one of the strongest uh, franchises you can 
compare, at least visually compare the Hunger Games to with Star Wars. Yeah, very much as when you look at the peacekeepers and the way the, the dictatorials, the Empire, Empire, Empire fascism. It, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and the mere fact that we're like this feels more much more bigger in scope, mm -hmm. especially with part of the visuals, because um, like when the Star Wars did the prequels. Um, and basically everything was a lot more grander, pristine. Mm, yep. It, def it almost always, if you felt like, well, at least where the Star Wars um, is concerned, especially when you look back at the, sto the storylines that's dealing with the prequels, you've got to feel a sense of where, you know, how things were before everything went to hell. <laughs> and then with this, you see exactly just how... Well, you know, this is still post-popolithic. Exactly. exactly. It's, a, it's, a, it's a dystopian series. It's always been a dystopian series. But you could definitely see the bits and cracks. I, I could see how Pan Am came to be, you know, to where it was in Katniss's age. Yeah. So... And <laughs> well, let's brought the bat. Some of the, cast, uh, the casting for this is some surprises. Mm -hmm. um, Viola Davis looks like she's going to be taking all the good lines. <laughs> it looks like. Well, her and Peter Dinklage, I would yeah, say. Yeah, so, I mean, those two right there off the bat, you know, darn well, they're coming to play. Um, but I'm, the only person I'm really concerned for in this role is the one who's playing the lead uh, female. Mm -hmm. She, so far, has been two major blockbuster films, West Side yeah. Story and Shazam. It hasn't really been able to, you know, have the public eye look at her in the way that she needs to, as far as becoming a household name. Yes, yeah, because both of those flops. Yeah. So, I'm concerned that for another big franchise role, that people mm. see her face and they know that she's been in two flops now. I hope, let, let's put it this way, let's put good vibes out there. I hope that in this particular story, in this film, she's going to be able to make it her own and definitely rise. Because she is a good actress, but, mm. you know, sometimes <laughs> that always, doesn't always be the case. But as, you know, for a first look, for a, a first trailer, and getting us a taste of what is to come, I'm psyched. I actually, this looks great. I This looks like a... I, well, I want to go out to the theaters for mm -hmm. They definitely make sure they put all the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lionsgate, they, they're usually for the low-budget crowd, but... Uh -uh, no, they come with Again, you can't. They right do. now, it just, for this franchise and for all the movies that's coming out, nobody can play safe. It's just mm -hmm. too much coming out, and they're all coming for the throats. All right, so there you have it. That was our first look at Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Uh, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell down there at the bottom for notifications. We want to hear from you. Are you a fan of the Hunger Games series? Um, are you psyched out as much as we are to go watch this? Uh, let us know. Also, look at our social media outlets of Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for content we don't necessarily post on this channel because of the time and place. Can't really put them all on. That's so true. So, my name is Adam. And I'm here. See you.